Huh? It's good. Always a pleasure, uh, I've man. I've never casted with you before. Once. Really? No, we haven't. Never. I've seen you cast. No, I know. You've definitely ah, okay. seen me cast. I've definitely, and I've definitely seen you cast a million times, I've of course. I peaked a bit. Mm. So I'm a peaker. Oh, he's playing Fox. You mean in terms of your casting ability or you're, you're looking? Or both? I'm just looking. <laughs> we're, just, we're just looking out here. Just taking a look. All right, but what do we got here? We got House of 3000's very own Dill uh, going up against Petrino. Rocking the Fox, actually. Uh, straying a little bit away. Uh, from his Ryu. I yes. suppose he might be doing that. In the matchup. previous sets, he's actually been playing Ryu and Cloud. So like he's been, those are like the two characters I've been seeing him play the most. So it's very interesting to see him going Fox against Dill. Mm -hmm. But maybe he just wants like that huge rushdown factor to be able to get in there, start, you know, doing some damage against this freaking monkey with an up tilt. But Dill's really patient. Yeah. Now, I would say he's almost like a flow charty type of playstyle, Dill. Yeah. He might be uh, might be going Fox, like you said, for the rushdown, just in an attempt to like really just play neutral against Diddy Kong as little as you possibly can, really. Because when you're Ryu, you know what you're doing. You're walking back and forth. You're looking for those up tilts when you're up a kill percent and everything. And Diddy doesn't exactly, he doesn't have a sword, but he has really long feet, and he doesn't exactly Come have to on, fight man. you. He pulls a fruit out of uh, God knows where, and he could chuck that at you from a very, very safe distance. I it's mean, ain't too here. bad of a matchup, but, you know, I mean, he probably just wants to play, like, neutral with uh, against Diddy Kong, or at least a Diddy as proficient as Dill as little as he possibly can, and I guess he thinks that Fox McCloud might be his answer to that. I really respect that Firefox he actually went for right there, because it was like, I'm going to go for you unless you double jump away, and then he was able to get back to center stage safe and sound. He's pretty much keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dill, currently seeing at 127%, able to reflect that nice tag. He saw it coming a mile away. I mean, if you're a Fox, and you're in the middle of Firefox, you just got to get ready for that tag, just in case it's going to happen. Yeah, I just, I just got to say, if you're a Fox player, you know, you're going off stage, you have that really linear recovery, and you're just... You, you don't practice teching or you're never prepared to tech. I just got to say, as a Fox player, what what are you doing? Baby. Ooh. Baby, what is you doing? Right, He's got a banana peel. What's he going to do with it? Mm. Throw it into the peel. He wanted that. Oh, that upstash was so close. Man, Petrino, arguably a little bit hasty with the banana there, you know. He was at the higher percent, so, you know, maybe he could have taken the banana, just ran away a little bit, potentially making Dill approach him so he could maybe get a grab or some other option out of that. But instead, he uh, grabbed, the banana, uh, grabbed the banana right in front of him off of the second grab of the banana before it, uh, before it evaporates when you throw it. And he kind of just chucked it right in Dill's face immediately. Oh, wow, but the whiff uh, down there. It looked like the percent was a little too high for a down throw to a down air and uh, Petrino realizing that apparently and just doing a falling up air to get rid of Dill that was a really good way to take the first stock perhaps he was expecting an air dodge mayhaps yeah mayhaps my friend that's, that's what I was thinking man okay we got this banana peel in hand not gonna be able to do too much with it now I noticed a lot's been happening in this set is that Petrino has been like this banana peel has been spawning right in front of him and it prevents him from being able to go for like a jab up tilt what have you because instead he accidentally fix up the peel. Mm -hmm. Seems to be happening a couple times. Yeah, it's a little awkward if you have to like do that kind of approach against Diddy, you know. I mean, I don't know, and and this is by no means any. Ooh, and that was a really good read by Dill to run up with the up smash. Not gonna kill just yet though. Uh, I don't exactly know what that down tilt up smash is gonna do it though. Dill taking game one. Uh, I don't exactly know how practiced Petrino's Fox is. I do. He is a Ryu main, correct? Yes. That is who he mains as a character, and Fox is uh, one of his secondaries. He whipped out Cloud against some people in bracket today. Yes. Uh, so I don't exactly know how practiced his uh, Fox is personally, but like you said, he keeps uh, keeps jabbing in front of a... He keeps trying to get jabs in front of Dill to try and get the rapid jab, whatever, F-tilts, what have you, and he keeps picking up the banana accidentally, which kind of makes you think, how often is he going for full hop dares? You know, Fox is... Uh, <laughs> Fox is uh, one of his saving graces as a character, if you will. I don't exactly see him going for too many of those to try and get any combo started. And that's kind of one of Fox's main combo starters. It's one of his best, one of his main moves, you know. And I don't in didn't exactly see Petrino doing too much of it. But now you're going to see him doing absolutely none of it. Because that Fox is gone. He's putting the Ryu back out and uh, taking Dill all the way back here to Lilat. Yeah, I was actually thinking that he was probably going to switch back to Ryu for game number two because he countered to Lilat Cruz. It was like... Cause that's like he likes his stage a lot with Ryu. It allows him to be able to get a lot of like safe shore yukins because it can just get caught on the platform right afterwards or turns into a 50-50 scenario where it's like we can land on the top platform, we can land back down on the stage. Now we're seeing him, but he's racking up a lot of damage. I know I think this is what he was afraid of, put it, busting out his Ryu against Dill's Diddy Kong. Seems to be struggling to find any sort of leeway here, because Dill is just finding the banana peel over and over in his face. Cool. He's got it in hand now, but he drops it off the back air. 
Oh, wow. He that actually was... connected that down tilt. Oh, uh, you know, uh, can I just say, I love it when, like, item play happens with certain characters, and then they just wind up accidentally, like, being multi-hits against Ryu like that yeah. and break through his focus. Can I just say how much I love to see that? This just breaks focus attack. Oh, man, focus is not going to do it. It's important, because it's something you got to always think about. It's probably what Dill's thinking about in this matchup. You want to be able to throw the banana peel into a down tilt, they charge focus attack, bam gone. Yeah. Multi-hits. It's always just so funny when things that aren't really multi-hits just become, you know, become be utilized as multi-hits against Ryu. Ooh, just breaking look. through that armor. Should be actually DIing straight left, I think, to avoid the uh, to avoid the down air conversion there. If that's what Dill was electing to go for, I couldn't exactly tell. Okay, now, through that part of the focus again. Now we're seeing a lot of focus coming out from Petrino. Trying to get, like, something going. He seems, he seems to be struggling just to try to, like, Find his footing, get back down onto the ground as safe as possible. And anytime he gets down there, like just an immediate hit, immediate pressure coming from Dill. Seeing at 81%, he might be fishing for a back air at this point. That focus attack could have led to something big, but he ended up slipping on the peel instead. He has the advantage against Dill right now. Rocky Barrel oh. boost? Where are you going? Wow, actually bouncing the barrel packs off of the stage. Fortunately, he had plenty of time to get another one out, so it wasn't too detrimental, but that could have been ugly if it just waited a little while longer. And he really wanted that banana peel into Shoryu, but, like, he was already mid-air offstage. Mm. But Dill, one Dillion dollars, still sitting so pretty on his first stock, and Petrino sitting not so pretty on his last. That is going to be a 2-0 for uh, House of 3000s, or HA! Very own Dill. Going up yeah, against, I think it's a bad uh, acronym too. Against you're, Petrino. You're, you're, you're correct. In that. I always do that. It just looks like somebody barfing, dude. It's, uh, that's what it is. Oh, dude, who's your favorite Diddy Kong player? Uh, it's Hach Dill. What is this face you're making? <laughs> I don't like that. Face. I have made this exact same joke to you, Devin, like a year ago. You thought it was hysterical. <laughs> Can I just say that? He has matured, okay? He, he doesn't laugh at your silly childish jokes anymore. Right, Devin? We're beyond that.